Hello sweet angels, it's Flex. Welcome to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Now today is a pretty fun video, um, a bit different to the videos I usually make on this channel, but nonetheless, we're very excited. Essentially, I'll be taking you through what my makeup used to look like about a year ago versus what it looks like now. So when I sat in front of this camera, I thought to myself, oh, you know, like my makeup is pretty similar. Like I use some of the same products and the same techniques. Ba -ba not quite <laughs> it's pretty different and so i'm pretty excited to take you through how it's changed i'm going to start with showing you a few images of what my makeup used to look like as you can see the first major difference is that i don't wear as much makeup as i used to um my brows are quite angular quite sharp quite filled in you can see i'm playing with a lot of color a lot of texture there's a lot of unconventional shapes going on um experimenting with the lips with like you know lipstick and lip gloss and things like that um versus now where i just wear less makeup generally um i still do experiment with colors but i'm not really um putting too many colors on my face at one time it's just really really pared back and um it's interesting i'm kind of thinking to myself when did it happen but if i had to attribute the change in my makeup routine to something i would just say time i'm generally really time poor now like there's always something i need to be doing and this time last year i had a lot of time just to have fun and experiment with new colors and new products i was always putting stuff on my face nowadays i'm just getting ready to go work <laughs> and the process i'm allowing myself to do my face is like 15 or 20 minutes so <laughs> generally you can't fit that much excitement in 15 or 20 minutes but i do try and when i think about how my makeup's changed i think there are a few hacks that i've learned <laughs> that's made the process or the transition really easy for me tip number one is to get your eyebrows professionally done like i know what you're thinking we already do that you might have but i had not been doing that <laughs> what i'm finding is when somebody's actually just like caring for your brows putting the arch where it needs to be the tail where it needs to be you often find that when you're using products it's so much easier to use like it it flows on better you're not working as hard to get the desired effect or result which is so so awesome tip trick hack number two that's been really helpful for me is understanding better techniques of applying my makeup and so what i've started to do recently is apply my concealer with a small fluffy brand branding Ugh, a small fluffy blending brush um because as you sort of um uh, sort of buff it in with circular motions it diffuses it out quite nicely and so you get this effect of like glowy um, medium to light coverage and it doesn't look cakey or too thick which I really really like but it's super helpful to apply your makeup in small layers and build it's something that's been taught to us from the beginning of time but honestly when you when you use that tip your makeup just looks so luminous and lovely there are no harsh lines it's just like small motions build 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 <laughs> um and then also like my ride or die has changed quite drastically so if you can remember this time last year i was a fiend for master creme and molten gold like i <laughs> could not find enough reasons to highlight i was like my inner corner brow bone cheekbones like cupid's bow nose bridge and granted in video i like the way highlighter looks like bow, 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 bow. it's popping because I've been doing a lot of no makeup makeup looks, having no highlighter or wearing a lot less highlighter kind of um, accentuates the effect as opposed to having like quite bare skin and a lot of action happening on my cheekbones. And so my new ride or die is this Brow Precise Fibre Volumizer Brow Mascara in Deep Brown. It, and like I said before, when you have a professional who's doing your brows and making sure the shape is where it needs to be, I personally find that I need much less product to achieve the desired effect. So a quick brow gel like this, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> somebody lock me up. <laughs> And there you have it. So that's how my makeup routine has changed from this time last year to now. Quite drastic. I still have love for my dramatic, edgy, coloured looks. Um, but 
I just need to figure out how to do more of those in 20 minute windows. It's a task for me. It's a task for you. If you have any tips and tricks, let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Like if you like this video. And as always, come back and check out what everybody else is doing on this channel. It's not just me doing amazing things. There are a ton of other creators here ready to teach you some new tips and tricks. I'll see you later.